Welcome ladies and gentlemen. George Natembea anaibisha Moses Wetangula live live on camera. <laughs> Natembea is not tolerating Moses Wetangula. Because we've been told that Moses Wetangula ni kama ana force Transoya County ikuwe piwa Ford Kenya the way inaendelea pale Bungoma County. Though Bungoma County si sana piwa piwa uh, Ford Kenya because we are having also members of parliament elected under UDA and other political parties. But bigger percentage ni Ford Kenya. So natembea anaaibisha Moses Wetangula vibaya vibaya sana kwamba yeye hana wafuasi ya kwenda hata kukaa chini na ku have bargaining powers in status. Moses Wetangula ni yeye tu peke yake. Ni yeye tu peke yake. Akienda state house anaenda peke yake. Akienda national assembly ako peke yake. So natembea anasema kwamba ukiona ana brag he wants to be the kingpin of Luya nation yet ana hata watu anapeleka kwa government. Na natembea na anaambia wa Kenya hii mtu ni bure kabisa anatudanganya. As if kuna watu amebeba kupeleka status. So the question that natembea is asking kwani watu yenye Moses Wetangula amebeba kupeleka status ni akina nani? Hakuna ni akina nani? Yenye if you compare what regarding the shadow is claiming as per the shares regarding the shadow hako na watu wenye at least wamemfinyilia mahali hako na watu. You know? The same to Raila Odinga. So Moses Wetangula is having who? That is what Natembea is asking. I want you to watch what Natembea said. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, before watching the video of Natembea, please consider liking this video. Please like this video. When you like this video, you support the work of this channel. And those who are returning subscribers, may God bless you so much. I want to appreciate you so much because of the great work you are doing. If it was not you, you could have not reached this milestone that you had. We are today. So thank you so much. And if you are a visitor for the first time visiting this channel, please consider hitting that subscription button. I will appreciate you so much. Let us listen to whatever uh, Natembea is saying. Then you continue. <laughs> Sasa wewe unakuwa rewarded kwa kupeleka wabukuzu miambili kwa kikapu ya president. Alafu unakuja kutuambia now we are in government. Which government? Nonsense. Which government? Which government? Ukipelekwa na watu, you can say you are in government. Sindio? Mutu kama kashakwa saa hii. Alienda na shares. Ndiyo anabianga watu tuko na shares. Ya anaweza kuzwa na mtu kweli? Awezi. Hata president Ruto kata alikuwa deputy president. Hati sumbwana na uru sana. Sinjima najua? Haka ambiwa na tanga tanga. Unabaja nimi? Halifutu wako. Hako na watu yake. Na hawa wetu. Uya wetu vila hako kule mbele. Hako na nani hapa juma. It's just a loon. Sasa akisikia kuna kiongozi mwingine kutoka kwa jamii anataka kuongea hivi, ndio sasa hakuna ndio anataka kutafutia mambo mengine. Let me tell you, and this is the reality. You can never be the president of this republic kama una watu wako ambao wanakushikilia. Hawezi. My friend hiyo ni uongo yako kabisa. Lazima ukue na watu wanakushikilia kwanza then you can go ahead. Sasa nyinyi waje tuseme watu waseme mimi ni kabila tu but I'm not a tribalist. Waluya you are number 2 in Kenya. Saa hizi jamii wa Kikuyu wamejipanga wamekuwa president mara mbili. The planning for 2032. Jamii wa Kanyo wamekuwa mara mbili, si ndio? Sasa tumesimama na waluo imekuwa tu matatizo kidogo inakuja inaenda hivi. Si ndio? Sasa wakati Raila anasema anaenda African Union Commission, si ndio? Watu wanaanza kuangalia kalozo kwa hiji mvua wapi? Kama 
kura yenu ni ya kujaza jazia watu wengine wakati mmejaza hivi na mtu anapata hata hapa tunazoya mnaona mlijazia watu wengine wako wapi wakati wanatafuta kura wanapenda nyinyi sana hata wengine wanaongea kibukuzo lakini akichaguliwa anaenda kwa lugha ya mama yake Unajua huyu mtu anaitwa mtu ambaye anaitwa anaitwa Musa. Unajua Musa? Musa alichaguliwa na Mwenyezi Mungu kutoa watu Misri kwenda wapi? Kutoka Canaan kwenda Misri ni kama kutoka hapa kwenda Mombasa. Tupenda wana? Lakini wana wa Israeli walichukua miaka 40. Walikuwa tu wanazunguka tu hapo. Wanazunguka tu. Musa hakuona kanan ama aliona lakini alienda akapanda kwa mlima mmoja kula akasema hata kama sitafika kanan nimevaa nini nimeona wewe wewe tangu na hiyo mlima atapanda aone kana now ladies and gentlemen natembea is showing a kind of good advice to Moses wa tangu But wa fursa wa wetangula hawataona hiyo. Wewe tukiongea sasa hii if you want to be the president at least you must have those who are supporting you. This politics of the Republic of Kenya is tribal. If you are coming from the mountain and you want to be the president you must have massive support in the mountain. If you want to be the president of the Republic of Kenya and you are coming from Rift Valley you must have massive support from Rift Valley the way William Ruto is having. If you want to be the president of the Republic of Kenya and you're coming from Nyanza, you must have massive support from Nyanza. If you want to be the president of the Republic of Kenya, you're coming from Kambani, you must have massive support from Kambani. Vile una supportiwa nyumbani, vile hata watu watakuamini. But for now as we speak, hata kupata hizo viketi. Yaani hiyo hizo vyeo in other words ni ngumu western kulingana na waitangula na musalia mudavadi odm even managed to beat musalia mudavadi in his home county vihiga the governor of vihiga was odm some members bigger percentage of members odm mcs odm the same to kakamega kakamega the governor there is odm some members of parliament odm So what natembea is say how will you say that you want to be the president or you want to be the kingpin of western or you're telling us you're having a bargaining power on the table with William Ruto in terms of development inatakana ikuje western yetu huna hata watu umepeleka huko So natembea anasema kama alipeleka wabukuzo kama 200 hiyo ni nini Can this give Wetangula enough space to be, to be on the table beginning power? So Natembea is having an eye opener to Moses Wetangula together with Musali Mudavadi. Though hajaongelea maneno ya Musali Mudavadi. But anaongelea maneno ya Moses Wetangula because Moses Wetangula ana push sana akue in Ford Kenya. As akue in DPK. So Natembea is saying Let us unite the mountain. In terms of the population, Luyas are second. Why is that mnakuwa mnajazia ah watu kibaba, mnajazia hii watu kibaba yao ya kisiasa, mnajaza hii, mnajaza hii. Then after those people are controlling now the Kenya, they have the presidency. Mnaachwa nje. So that is what Natembea is talking. Now Natembea is, is insisting that can we have Can we have a bargaining power where at least we have people who are supporting us on the ground so hii propaganda ya Moses Wetangula anaenda nayo sio watu wanamsupport western hakuna that is the reality hakuna watu wanamsupport on the ground hakuna hakuna mtu ana support the bigger percentage support that Moses Wetangula is having is in Bugoma county his home county where he was elected senator 
Then he resigned because he was going for a Speaker of National Assembly. And that was a guarantee that he was going to get that because the majority was already lowered to, to Kenya Kwanzaa government. So I think Natambea showed Wetangula the truth. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? What do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.